This solution is a method commonly used to purify a liquid by utilizing the boiling points or to remove a solvent in the solution. There are two methods of distillation, simple and fractional. Simple is used when trying to separate two liquids with boiling points differing by more than 100 degrees Celsius, whereas fractional distillation is used for liquids with boiling points differing by less than 100 degrees Celsius. In regards to fractional distillation, increasing the surface area with glass beads causes the vapors to become increasingly concentrated due to the continual process of evaporation and condensation. For our purposes in the lab, fractional distillation will not be used because it takes more time than is feasible and is impractical with our equipment. Although simple distillation is very useful in an organic chemistry lab, there are limitations to this technique. A simple distillation does not have the ability to separate a mixture of two or more liquids where the composition of its vapors is the same as the mixture itself. This mixture is known as an azeotrope, and if you take physical chemistry courses, you will learn about these mixtures. It is important to note that the equipment used for distillation are very expensive and should be handled with extra care. We are placing a stand under the hot plates to raise the setup since sometimes the pitch of the three-way connector may cause the condenser and the tail adapter to point too closely to the bench surface. Alternatively, you can use a glazing head to raise the three-way adapter by 10 centimeters or so. When setting up for distillation, everything is built around the flat bottom flask and therefore you want to make sure that the clamp is securely tightened. You want to choose a round bottom flask where the liquid reaches only half the flask volume. For small volumes, you can use a small round bottom flask but place it into a water bath. The limitation here is that the boiling point of the liquid must be less than the boiling point of water. For higher boiling liquids, you need to use sand instead of water. Be sure to add a boiling aid to eliminate violent splashes caused by bubbling of a superheated solution, known as bumping. If you forgot to add in a boiling aid, remove the solution from heat and allow it to cool to room temperature before adding the boiling aid. Use elastic band to stabilize the apparatus. Make it a habit of as soon as you connect the glass joints to use an elastic band to connect the pieces and don't just rely on friction to hold the pieces together. In the condenser, there are two openings. The opening located higher up the condenser is the water output. A rubber tube attached here should drain into the sink. The opening located lower on the condenser is the water input. A rubber tube should connect this end with the water outlet located in the fume hood. A steady flow of water should be going into the condenser. A clamp will hold the condenser in place, but make sure it's not tight since it may torque the setup and will cause vapors to escape. Ideally, you want a distillate drip rate of about 1 drop per second, which is controlled by the heating temperature of the flat bottom flask. The thermometer is inserted last through the distillation head with a tip just below the intersection of the three-way adapter. The vapors that form during heating will pass through the three-way adapter and will heat up the bulb. If it's placed too high, it won't get an accurate reading, and if it's placed too low, the temperature it reads may not be representative of what's collected. Choose a receiving vessel that minimizes evaporation, such as an Erlenmeyer flask, which has a small opening. This is crucial when the distillate is the desired product. Also, the receiving flask should rest in an ice bath where the water reaches a level of the flask corresponding to the volume of distillate.
As you are collecting your product, you will notice that the temperature plateaus. The distillation is completed when the temperature rises above the plateau or when there's only a few milliliters of solution left in the flask. You never want to distill to complete dryness as it increases the risk of breaking the glassware, formation of tar or peroxides. To take the setup apart, perform the order of operation for the setup in reverse and start with the thermometer. As a summary of this video, you have learned that distillation is a technique used to purify a liquid or it can be a technique used for removing a solvent in a solution. You have now witnessed how easy a simple distillation can be to set up, but it takes practice and planning. Be sure to take all the precautions mentioned in this video such as securing glassware with elastic bands and the order with which the apparatus is built.